The K and K sign to talk nouns and verbs can be used for a variety of purposes. One of the purposes is that the therapist can use them as a sign language dictionary when teaching sign language to kids who are minimally vocal. So for example, my friend Nola here, I know that she likes a couple of different things here at my center. She likes grapes and she also wants to learn to kick my heavy bag. So these are two reinforcing items that I can teach her to request. For the grapes, if you look on the back of the card, you'll see that there are pictures of how to produce the sign as well as a description of the sign. So I can use that as a resource when I'm teaching Nola how to request grapes. And I'll do that by having the grapes available, assessing whether or not she wants them. She's looking at them and I know she's eaten them in the past. Then I'll model the sign. I'm gonna prompt Nola to sign and then I'm gonna deliver the grapes. And with each of those trials, I'm gonna say the name of the item. Grape, grape, grape. In this way, I can teach Nola how to sign great. You can eat it, you can eat it. <laughs> On subsequent trials, I'll try and fade the prompts. So now, the next time I'll sign, I'll model, but I'll just wait a minute to see if Nola will start producing the sign more on her own. Grape, grape, <laughs> grape. And she did it much more on her own, so I'm gonna give her two pieces of grape, differentially reinforcing or showing her by how I behave that that was a better form of the word grape. <laughs> <laughs> so in this way I could fade my prompts, both my model prompt and my physical prompt. This is described in greater detail in my webinar. So we also talked about that Nola wants to learn how to kick my heavy bag. On the back of one of the kick cards, it shows how you produce the sign for kick, which is like this, simulating kicking. So I can contrive motivation for a kick by bringing Nola over to the heavy bag. Come on over, girl. And I know she wants to kick it because she was trying to learn how to kick it before. So I'm going to model the sign for kick for her. I'm going to prompt her. And then I'm going to let her kick. Go ahead, girl. And then on subsequent trials again, I'll try and fade my prompt. Kick. Kick. Good try. I'm going to help you a little bit. Good. Go ahead and kick. Nice. So again, I can prompt her to use the sign for kick. And then on subsequent trials, I can fade my physical prompt and later just use a model prompt as the guide.